Welcome to another video from Excel and CAD. My name is Ajay Anand. In this video, I will show you how to connect two or more Excel tables. In other words, how to build a relationship between Excel tables. First of all, what is the purpose of connecting tables? Connecting Excel tables allows us to look up from one table to other without VLOOKUP or index match formulas. Creating relationship between tables is the best alternative for lookup and aggregation formulas which may slow down the workbooks. Let me explain this with an example. Here is the sales records of a particular company which deals with the sale of electronic gadgets like cell phones, laptops, etc. in different parts of India and China. This second table contains the details of the cities in which this company is operating, corresponding region and country of each city. Now one of the company managers wants to know the total sum of sales done in the south region of India. As you can see here, this table called sales data doesn't have the details of region or country. There is only one column that has the information about the place of sale, the column called location which contains the name of the city. The details regarding the cities that is the corresponding region and country is in the second table called place. Now that we have the required details in two different tables, what is the best solution for this problem? I mean how we can find the total sum of sales for South region of India. Let me show you the formula method. We will create two new columns. Region, country. To return the corresponding region of this city in the formula bar equal VLOOKUP function open parenthesis, lookup value, city is the lookup value, comma, table array, select the table containing the details of the cities, comma, column index number, region is in the second column of this table, type in 2, comma, false for an exact match, press the enter key and we have the corresponding region. For country, I will copy this formula. Equal, paste the copied formula. Country is in the third column of this table. So replace 2 with 3. And we have the corresponding country. Now copy this formula in the downward cells. and we have the corresponding region and country of each city. Now for the sum of sales in south region of India equal sum if plus function open parenthesis sum range select the column containing amounts comma criteria range 1 south region is our first criteria select the cells containing region comma criteria 1 double quotes south double quotes comma criteria range 2 India is the second criteria select the cells containing country comma criteria 2 double quotes India double quotes when I press the enter key we have the total sum of sales for south region of India. Let's cross check this value. Filter. South. India. The total sum of sales is 7,40,260. But the major drawback of this method is we have created 100 new VLOOKUP formulas for 50 records. For 100 or 500 records, this may look fine. But imagine a case where you are dealing with 5000 records. This solution will create 10,000 new formulas which will definitely slow down the workbook. Moreover, the aggregation formula which we used here is of static nature. And for the addition of data, we need to rewrite this formula. So lookup formula is definitely not the best way to solve this problem. 
The most elegant solution to this problem, which doesn't require additional formulas is establishing a relationship between these tables, sales data and place. Once these tables are connected, we can easily look up from one table to other without any formula and summarize data using pivot tables. So let's see how to connect these tables. Let me undo these actions. The primary requirement to connect to Excel tables is both of the tables should contain at least a column with common values. Here both the tables have a column in common, the column containing the name of the cities. The second requirement for connecting tables is one of these columns containing common values shouldn't have any duplicates. Here that requirement also is satisfied. The column called city of this table called place doesn't have any duplicates. Now that both the requirements are satisfied, let's connect the Excel tables, sales data and place. Go to the data tab of Excel ribbon, relationships, manage relationships. To create a relationship, new. Using these drop down menus, we have to specify the tables and corresponding columns to connect. Table will be that table containing source data, in other words, the bigger table. Select the table called sales data. Foreign column is the column containing common values. Select the column called location. Related table will be the smaller table. Select the table called place. Related column will be the column without duplicates. Select the column called city. Click OK. See the tables are getting loaded into the data model of the workbook. And here is the new connection we created. The table called sales data is connected to the table called place through these columns location and city. To create a pivot table report using this data, close the dialog, go to the insert tab, pivot table, use this workbook's data model, ok. See both the tables sales data and place are listed in the field list of this pivot table. Product is another table available in this workbook and as you can see a thin line is separating this table from the related tables. Now for the region wise sum of sales, drag and drop the field called country into the area for rows, then region, then the field called amount into the area for values. The sum of sales done in the south region of India is 7,40,260 and note that we have induced a single formula here. And if I want to hide the other values, I can apply filter using the filter buttons against the corresponding fields. So this is how we can connect excel tables and avoid complex lookup and aggregation formulas. And also excel won't stop us from creating multiple relationships between multiple tables. Let me explain this by solving the new question from the sale manager. The total number of cell phones sold in east and west regions of China. As you can see here. The table called sales data has a column for item but it doesn't have the details of categories that is the table doesn't say whether an item is a phone, laptop or headphone. The details regarding each item that is the corresponding category is in another table called product. Actually the second question is more complex than the previous one and if we try to solve it using VLOOKUP function it will take three VLOOKUP formulas for each record. One for region, one for country and the other one for category that is 150 VLOOKUP formulas for 50 records. So let's go for the relationship method to connect these tables sales data and product go to the data tab relationships new sales data will be the table 
and the column called item will be the foreign column. Product will be the related table and the column called item in that table will be the related column. Okay. See the new relationship is listed here. Now that the three tables are connected, we can find out the count of phones sold in East and West regions of China either by modifying the existing pivot table or by creating a new one. For the total number of phones sold in East and West regions of China, insert pivot table, use this workbook's data model, ok, drag and drop the field called country into the area for rows, then region, category, item, now the number of units into the area for values. Now apply the corresponding filters for China. East and West. phone and we have the total number of cell phones sold in east and west regions of China. And if you want to see the diagram view of the existing relationships, go to the power pivot window, manage, click on diagram view. See these tables called product and sales data are connected through the columns called item and the table called place and sales data are connected through the columns city and location. So that is about connecting excel tables and relationships. Hope you will find this video useful. For feedback and discussion please make use of the comment section and those who are visiting this channel for the first time subscribe and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any video releases. Thanks for watching. Wish you a great day.